These beautifully women are mothers from the Basilica of Grace Diocese of Abuja, dressed in their national regalia with bold smiles on their faces. They have come to return praise to God for yet another modern Sunday as the church joined with others to celebrate them. Speaking to the women on the Abuja Modern Sunday theme, Mrs. Josephine Odigi outlined the quality of a virtuous woman, advising mothers to take care of the assignment given to them by God. A virtuous woman has a gentle and quiet spirit. She is precious in the sight of God. That means God has noticed her and saw her faithful, quiet and kind. So she's not the wild type. God himself is quiet and gentle. I pray for you this morning that God will dwell in each one of our homes in the name of Jesus Christ. As we celebrate Mother's Sunday, let us remember Ruth and follow in her steps. Follow her. We describe her as a quiet, gentle, and wonderful daughter-in-law. As I told you earlier, generations will come you will remember her. What is it that generation will remember you and me for? Is it that we came, we live, and we died? Is that what they will remember us for? Look at Naomi. She came, she lived, she prepared her assignment, and she finished it. Till today, we are still talking about her. The service featured a special rendition by the children and the mothers, the cutting of the cake and thanks given by the mothers among others. I present this to you in the name of the Father and of the Son. Where I am standing and we want to say thank you for this. The Vice President of the Mothers Union Women's Girl Gudu Achidikiri, Mrs. Tolulokwe Owoye, and her husband, the figure of the Basilica of Grace Church, Venerable Oluwashin Owoye, admonished the women. We appreciate God for the opportunity he has given unto us to witness the 2024 Mothers Sunday. And I uh, want to use this opportunity to encourage all women to be God fearing, to love one another, encouraging ourselves as uh, women to be good in laws to our mother in law. Not to see them as uh, witches. We should be God fearing, see our mother in laws as our own mothers too, and take care of them. Indeed, the women are gifts from God. They, we cannot do without them. There's no home, who will be so organized, who will be so coordinated without women. So we thank God for what they do at God for what they also do in the church. In fact, they are more committed than men. So every community, anywhere without women, that community will not, will not thrive. So we thank God for how God has made them. They are home builders. They are also supporters of God's work and also home front they are there. So I want to appreciate what the women are doing for God. I want to use this opportunity to appreciate my mama primate.